the numbers were eye popping. Uh, the you know the street had been for a while the street and us had for a while had been well above Toyota's full year forecast, uh, but you know they they shot their full year guidance well above what 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 we and I think most of the street was expecting. So outstanding numbers, um, you know second quarter numbers equally good. Um, you know they besides having the uh, strong performance. From you know benefiting from the yen, I think equally important, if not more so, were some of the benefits they've seen from strong pricing of automobiles, particularly in the U.S. market, as well as you know the recovery in in volumes as we've come off of a three-year depression in auto sales on the back of the pandemic and the chip shortage, and now there's pent-up demand out there, and people are responding to it. You know what I also liked out of these numbers? It's the growing percentage of sales that we see from electrics and hybrids. It was at 35% in the first quarter. Now that number's improving. How does it compare to industry, industry peers? And what is Toyota's strategy to charge up, if you wanted to use the expression, um, EV and hybrid sales through um, 2024? Charge up, I like that. But uh, the, actually, the, what was most interesting in that number is they had a forecast of 200,000 um, battery electric vehicles for this year, and they ran that back to I think about 130,000 or so uh, vehicles. What was it? What? What was interesting about that is, you know, they were talking about the pricing war that we've seen in China, and they've said, well, you know, a lot of the sales would be in China. You know, there's a bloody pricing war going on there. We don't want to lose money, so they've been pushing the hybrids in instead. And that, what's interesting about that is it's Toyota's way of saying we're going to have multiple lanes of attack in terms of dealing with, you know, lower emissions, carbon neutrality, ca climate change, you know, EVs form an important part of it, but it is not the entire, you know, not the entire story. And, you know, when we see, you know, uh, firms in China losing uh, buckets of money uh, competing on price in, in EVs, I think it's the right strategy.